So recently I came into possession of some secondhand books um, and I actually acquired just enough of them to make a decent length book haul which was a surprise to me since I was planning a review next but I figured this would be a nice little fun thing to toss in the middle of all of this continued winter dreariness at least where I'm living. So let's get started. So firstly is Exiles from Paradise, Zelda and Scott Fitzgerald uh, by Sarah Mayfield and I don't know if this is fiction or nonfiction. I'm pretty sure that it's nonfiction, and I want to get to this after I read some more Fitzgerald um, but I think it's just the the sort of crazy drama and story of the lives of these two people um, and surrounding their work and Zelda's work etc etc. Um, it's kind of this is kind of a gross addition um, but it looks very interesting. Um, I, I hope most of it is true. I'll have to do some more research. Um, but it's it's pretty thin and it's very old. Uh, it was sold for $1.75 originally. So look at that, booksellers. How about we go back to those days? Next is a book by an author that I have just seen over and over in bookstores and heard several good things about from other people um, who, who read books that are similar to his. Um, David Sedaris, Me Talk Pretty One Day. Um, I, I have seen this around and it, it resonates with me as someone who is quite into grammar and spelling and all of that, but I believe this is a book about his lisp and his voice and um, him generally learning to speak better than he originally did. Um, I was intrigued by this because he winds up going to France, of all places, where you have to have a very exacting tongue in order to speak the language. Um, so I'm hoping this will be funny. I feel like he's a funny author, that's what I've heard. Um, so fingers are crossed. Next is a book that I've seen in quite a few bookstores and I always seem to think is a vampire novel, even though it's not at all. Um, it's Quiet, which is a book about introverts by Susan Cain. Um, as someone who would classify themselves as an introvert, um, this definitely spoke to me, I guess. Um, and it's, it's nonfiction about, and about how introverts see the world and how they are growing in their, um, their, their powerfulness, I guess you could say. I'm kind of interested to read about myself from a perspective outside uh, my own head. And then almost by mistake, I was going through this bookshelf that was absolutely jam-packed. I was squeezing these books to pull them out off of the shelves. Um, it was it was packed and so I was judging primarily on age of book, title of book, whether or not I thought it would fall apart in my hands, and wound up picking four books, two of each by the same author, completely unintentionally. Well, not so much the first two were intentional because I was definitely drawn to the author, but the latter two definitely unintentional. So firstly I found Zadie Smith's On Beauty. Um, I didn't even know that she had written a book of the, like this. Um, I'm familiar with most of the titles of her work, but I've never read any of it. Um, this is about a family just outside of Boston and I think sort of tackles the culture wars that we've set upon ourselves as a society uh, from a narrative perspective. So I'm interested to read this, especially since I'm living in Massachusetts right now. The cover is sort of is impressed a little bit. Um, on the other side, I guess you could call it embossed. So it's it's a really nice paperback copy. It's in pretty good condition. Um, yeah, I've never read anything of Zadie Smith, like I said. Um, so so this will be this will probably be the first one. And to go along with that is White Teeth. Um, I had a friend who was reading this while we were in London together, and she said it was really great. So I figured I would give it a try. This will be the second one that I read after On Beauty, supposing that I like On Beauty. Um, but even so, I'll probably give it a try. Sort of a fangirl Eleanor and Park situation. And so the last two books are by Karen Joy Fowler, which I didn't even realize they were by her until I actually read the reviews by Alice Siebold, who is the author of The Lovely Bones. Um, I noticed that she reviewed both and that seemed weird to me, so I looked at the author and it was the same author. Uh, firstly is the Jane Austen Book Club, which I've heard of several times, um, and I just, I'm not entirely sure what this is about, but Alice Siebold says on the front that she would eat this novel if she would, and as someone who really struggles with Jane Austen's run-on sentences and, and just continually waits around for her to make a point, as much as I love the prose that she is able to develop, it, it wears on me considerably. 
and I'm interested to see a novel about people who enjoy the Jane Austen work. I hope that's what this is about. I'm not entirely positive, but I'm gonna read it anyway. And lastly, we are all completely beside ourselves, which I feel like is a phrase that I would like to say more in my day-to-day -day life. I guess this is a book about a girl who was raised with a chimpanzee. I can't tell if it's a metaphor or not, just from the excerpt on the back, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. It's won a Penn Faulkner Award, so that proves something about it, I guess. Um, if you have read this, please leave me a comment and tell me what you think of it, because I really picked this up just because I love the title, um, also because Alice Siebel keeps giving it higher reviews, and, um, let me know, let me know, know what you got, or what you think of this one, because I, I, I just want to say this title, mostly, that's, that's where I'm at. If you have read any of the following, please do leave me a comment and let me know what you thought, what you think, what you want to read, which one do you think I should start with out of all of these? I guarantee you I'm probably not going to get to a lot of them for a while because I brought a 27-piece section of my home library to Massachusetts with me and haven't really tackled all together that much of it, which I'm a little upset about, so I'm working my way through that first. Um, but if any of these is so fantastic that you think I should stop what I'm doing and read it, please do let me know down in the comments. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having lovely weeks and lovely lives, and we will see you very soon with another video.